So here I am with the diva, Ms. Jen Jenny Boylan. Tell I us. I wasn't a diva until this year, but here I am. A year ago, right now, I was wearing flannel and grading papers, and now I have a gown with a train. I see that. Let's show you. Now, look at this dress. This dress was designed for me by a fellow named Sergio Robinson. He lives in Atlanta. He's 23 years old. And this is a one of a kind made for me special tonight. Wow, that's awesome. So what made you decide to come out and be like, I'm going to be glamorous, super glamorous, extra glamorous this year? Well, you know, I think people think that, uh, from the Caitlyn Jenner show and from my work in the New York Times and maybe at Columbia University, I think people think that I'm a bit of a scold or that I'm... Um, uh, but I don't know how to have fun. Well, I can have fun. And uh, I love getting glammed up and I love having a good time. And people should know that it's possible to be an American intellectual and also to wear a gown with a train. Right, absolutely. Reject and I the binary, that's what I always say. Now, has Caitlyn Jenner been an influence on you with the glamour? Because all of a sudden, Caitlyn Jenner is like, boom, glammed out. I hope that I've been an influence on her in terms of learning how to speak uh, a little bit more articulately, um, to speak representing not just herself, but a much more diverse group of people. Yes, we all know the transgender community is a very, very diverse community. and. As I like to say, if you've met one transgender person, you've met one transgender person. There are so many ways of being us. And so Caitlin's been really good at finding herself and finding her truth and speaking about it. But what she's learned this last year is that she is, to say the least, atypical. And her story is not the typical story. And that there's a lot of suffering in our community. and. Um, a lot of vulnerability. We are victims potentially of violence and homelessness and suicide. And I think the change I've seen in her is that she's learned about that in the community and begun to take a look at her own life and thinking, hmm, what can I do to use this platform that she's been given for good? And so one of the things she's done is the, the new MAC um, campaign. Uh, she has this new lipstick, which I am wearing tonight, called Finally Free. All the proceeds, all of it, go toward the MAC HIV AIDS Prevention Foundation. So far it's raised $400,000 and that money is all earmarked for transgender support and activism. We're hoping to raise a million dollars by the end of this year. And she hasn't uh, put a lot of attention on that. that hasn't, I haven't seen a lot of stories about that, but that's happening. That's real. Um, she's also started the Caitlyn Jenner Foundation, uh, which is, as we go forward, uh, going to be doing lots of work to help support our community. So she's doing good in the world. She's still finding her voice. She's still finding herself. But it's, it's very cool. It's good. You know, she's in a good path. And she has you she has to guide her. She has me. So no. it'll take her a while. I mean, she's a work in progress. But then so are all of us. That's good. We, you know, we're rooting for her. Yes. <laughs> now, so the lipstick can be found now at Mac. Can be found at Mac now. It's called Finally Free. Oh, I'm getting mine then. Definitely. <laughs> Yay. Now, one last question. What advice do you have for a transgender woman, as myself, that just wrote a transgender children's book? You know, what advice can you give her? Well, is the book written? It's written. Well, you're gonna need to find a publisher. So you're gonna need to find an agent. How do, how do I go about that? Do I just contact well, people that have... Well, the easiest thing to do is send me an email, and I'll send you to my agent, or I'll send you to some other agents. But they're, finding a literary agent uh, is a relatively non-mysterious process, and you can go online and, and Google that and find out, how do I find a literary agent? But good representation can get you to a good publisher. Um, if you can't find a good publisher, though, don't lose hope, because even in this day and age, people can self-publish, you can publish on Amazon, and then you just drive people to your site through your social media platforms. There are a lot of ways. I mean, I'm very old-fashioned. I was raised as a writer. I was trained as a writer. That's my education. That's the only profession I've really ever had, besides reality television star. And so, you know, I, I started publishing with uh, Random House and Simon & Schuster in the in the in the 90s, so I'm a creature of that world. But 
the world has changed and the media has changed and maybe that's not the only way to publish a book now. There are a lot of ways there are a lot of ways to the Golden City. Right, now we have online and all that stuff, yeah. right? Well, thank you so much. Where can your fans find you online, social media, all of that? The easiest place to find me online is uh, my Twitter handle, Jenny Boylan, that's all one word, on my Facebook page, Jennifer Finney Boylan, and at my website, jenniferboylan.net. And anyway, Perfect. If, you, if you Google me, all that stuff comes right up. All the fabulous stuff. And thank you for coming out looking fabulous. Thank you. Mwah. Peace. And good luck. Thank Send me a note.